Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fumon Adventure Club and today I'm kind of bringing you a preview review of this portable solar generator called the uh, Safari ME by Lion Energy. I'm in the middle of doing a comprehensive review with all the tech specs, weights, pros, cons, um, and give you my thumbs up endorsement on it, but I like to test these things as thoroughly as I can before I give you the thumbs up. I'm an affiliate with Lion Energy and they actually sent me the Safari LT, which is a really small portable generator that I've been absolutely loving. And this is their new big boy on the block with a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter with a 4,000 watt surge. And I'm in the middle of going through all these tests, but I, I'm getting so many comments about people really wanting me to do uh, more reviews on this stuff right now because maybe you're worried about the state of the world or whatever. And um, this guy has been really impressive so far, and these are actually in stock. They have these, a lot of people do not, and they're months and months out back ordered. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and give you this preview review and throw a link down below so you can go to the Lion Energy website and check out the tech specs and the features and the price and see if it's something that you're interested in. And if you use that link, I'm an affiliate and they gave me 15% off if you click the link, which saves you hundreds of dollars on this guy. So thanks Lion Energy for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there. What I'm gonna do is run my entire cabin off of this thing I installed a, dis a uh, transfer switch to take me off of grid power and a generator switch so I can actually feed my entire house, every single plug, every single light bulb, every refrigerator, every appliance, everything in the house is plugged in and functioning as normal. And we're gonna see how this guy uh, handles that kind of load. And so it's gonna be a really fun test. I'm gonna go ahead and share this uh, preview with you and then I'll do the comprehensive review in a couple weeks when it's done. Um, that being said, when we bought this house, it was abandoned for years and being reclaimed by the earth. So it was in really rough shape and we've been working on it for a year. So just throwing that out there, I have a lot of projects left to do, but um, at least it's livable inside. And I'm gonna give you a little tour anyway of the inside of my house, showing you um, all, the, all the things that this can run. So stay tuned after this, this video and I'll give you a few more tech specs and some more information on this. Um, but in the meantime, let's jump right into this Lion Safari ME running my entire cabin. Let's check it out. All right, everybody. So we have all of these bistro lights going on outside and those are all LEDs. And now we're gonna step inside. All right, so. I'm going to try and walk you through as many things that are actually turned on as possible here. Actually, every single outlet in this house is currently powered on. You can see that we do have internet, uh, the TV, the fire stick, which is providing, uh, you know, the stuff that's on the TV. Uh, we also have my uh, receiver down there for switching things around and also uh, the amplifier for my Bose 901 speakers up in the corners. Uh, we have lots of little gadgets in the house, like this thermometer gauge here. Lots of little lamps and all of my night lights and all that stuff is currently turned on as well. And I've actually counted all the lights in the house for a total of 47 lights that are currently turned on in the house. All of which are LEDs. You can see these LED lights up top, which I am able to dim and control. Uh, which also helps on power usage. All of our little knickknacks, curios, lamps have a fire going. And you can see down here, I do have my phone actually displaying the current used wattage, which is 944 watts at the moment, which means that my uh, refrigerator compressor is working right now at about 400 watts about four or 500 watts typically when it's turned on. We have LEDs underneath the cabinets here. Uh, my girlfriend's currently cooking dinner, so we actually have the oven working. Uh, this is a gas range, but you do have to have electricity for the automatic igniters and the timers and things like that. Uh, the microwave is functional. You can see that the refrigerator's turned on if I wanted to get ice. And then switch over to water. Everything is working completely normally. So you can see it does have electricity and all of that stuff is running. Then we're also going to I'm going to put my water down. Uh, we also have these LEDs in the hallway here. My entire office is connected, my DSLR camera, my three LED beauty lights, 
you know, and uh, video lights and stuff. You can see my laptop is turned on and we are connected to the internet right here. Dual monitor setup. It's currently running three different external hard drives. Three external uh, hard drives are being run off that. And this is all sensitive equipment, uh, which I completely trust to the pure sine wave inverter. But as you can see, life is completely normal as far as the electricity is concerned. And uh, this is a lot of stuff, you guys. This is running a lot of individual items. And um, basically what I have set up over here is just this extension cord that runs right out the window. This is a temporary setup until I run my uh, internal wiring to the house. And that wire, that extension cord goes to the outside to my uh, my breaker box for my generator uh, that also has my disconnection switch, my transfer switch uh, that disconnects me from external uh, power from the grid. And you can see we're running at about 500 watts now because the uh, looks like the refrigerator's kicked off. We've been running like this for about an hour and a half and we're at 76% with two hours to go. But obviously we're using everything like normal. 46 light bulbs, the bistro lights outside. Um, <laughs> There's just a lot of stuff and actually just to show you something crazy It's running my entire house and I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna get a coffee mug and fill some water And I will see if we can push that giant LG microwave With all of this stuff running and I'm gonna have to turn her timer off. She's gonna be mad at me Don't let me forget to tell her the dinner's ready. Okay, she should kill me. Okay. Okay, we got water. Sorry, I'm trying to do all this one-handed here. And we're gonna see if we push this guy over the top by using this huge LG microwave. Here we go. The microwave is running. The entire house is still turned on. Let's see how much wattage we're using. Ooh, 2,120. Computer, turn on, turn off the outside lights. Computer, turn off the outside lights. There we go. That'll get us down close, right on, right at 2,000 watts. But hey, it didn't click off. We went over 2,000 watts. So we're pushing the full amount of power right now out of this guy, running that microwave, and my entire house. We have cell phones charging, computers going, uh, refrigerators. and the microwave for a one minute run. And we'll go ahead and let that complete. And then I will wrap up this presentation so I can tell my girlfriend that her food is probably burning in the oven. There we go. Yep, warmed it right up. Okay, so I think that's Pretty darn incredible. Um, you know, my office, LED lights galore. I have two subwoofers down there. Uh, we could pretty much do anything that we want to do. I've even run my entire house um, and then did a load of dishes in the dishwasher on a cycle, which is just crazy. And it handled all of that even when we pushed over our limit. And now we're back down to 400 watts. It's just incredible what this thing can actually run and run really well for a very long time and you can recharge it with solar by plugging it in anything like that and also just to show you this guy is unplugged from the wall and you have to make sure that you do that before you power your whole house like this otherwise it's going to cause a feedback loop and it'll uh, affect your it'll get weird but that wraps it up guys and just to prove to you that everything is running off of this guy now I'm going to turn it off so you can kind of see my whole house here. Here we go, I'm gonna push the button. There goes my entire house. Absolutely everything except the jet pack over in the corner which runs our Wi-Fi and that's because it has an internal battery. That's it. The entire house has been disconnected and I know you can't see anything but you can listen to my voice and if we go into the kitchen here there, there's no lights on anything anymore. In my office, all the lights are turned off except my laptop because it has an internal battery, of course. So that's that. Okay, I just wanted to let everybody know that, you know, it's 
10, 17, I started running my entire house off this around 7 o'clock. We uh, made dinner. We ran the microwave. We made some tea with a hot water maker. And the entire house is still functioning off this. We watched movies. We're about to go to bed. Um, we're pulling 742, 740 watts. And this is as loud as it is. And we still have 45 minutes to go, about an hour, 20%. And I'll be quiet and let you listen to the fan. Which is awesome. Now I'm going to turn on the microwave here in a second because it does have two fan speeds. And when you pull way over a thousand watts, it kicks that uh, faster fan speed on. And I'll let you listen to that as well. Would you please hit the microwave? And so that's about as loud as it gets when you're pulling, you know, close to 1,700 watts. And it just does that for a little while to make sure that when it's pulling close to 2,000 watts that it's not going to overheat. But this is right in the middle of my living room. We don't have to worry about noxious fumes or gas or oil or leaks or anybody else hearing it. If you're in an off-grid situation and you don't want people to know you have... You know, this kind of thing, it's a lot quieter than a generator, and it's right here in the middle of my living room, and I think that's pretty darn cool. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down and go to bed and just switch back over to grid power, but it, as soon as the sun went down, we had everything we needed until we went to bed. We watched movies and surround sound, um, made tea and dinner and microwave and everything else with every plug and light on in the entire house. I think that's, that's pretty cool. So incredibly cool what this guy is capable of and uh, please stay tuned, subscribe and stay tuned to check out my comprehensive review where I give you any pros and cons that I found along the way and I show you more of these comprehensive tests with the run times, tech specs, weight, everything else. Um, for now all I'm going to say is it does have two AC plugs, it has two fast charge ports, it has two normal USBs, an Anderson power pole plug, and also a cigarette lighter adapter for DC stuff, and that's all regulated DC current, which is incredibly cool. Also I will mention that the unit itself is just on the bottom, and in the video I showed it with the optional expandable battery pack that sits on top. The unit itself has about a thousand watt hours of power in it and the additional expandable battery pack has 2000 watt hours. So together you have around three. I'll get into all the exact specs during the review video, but I've been testing this for about two months and the inverter is solid. Um, I ran my 15,000 BTU RV air conditioner uh, multiple times for multiple hours with and without the 600 watts of solar that you can attach to this guy while it's in use. I have 400 watts of solar and so that's what I'll be testing with and I'd like to get a couple more panels so I can really get the full 600 watts and uh, test that as well. But also it ran a 10,000 BTU indoor air conditioner to cool my cabin when it was really hot. Um, it ran the dishwasher through a complete cycle while it was running through the, the refrigerator in my entire house uh, the way I had it plugged in in this video. And also, I used it to run the power tools that I used, both sanders that I used to sand my entire living room floor just about a month ago. And um, it made it through the entire span. I think I had to plug into normal power for the last hour after 10 and a half hours of sanding. So I've been using this with power tools and big appliances and all that stuff. And so stay tuned for all those really big tests. But in the meantime, they have these in stock. And if you use my link down below, you save 15% with my affiliate link. And uh, that's hundreds of dollars off of this unit, which they have in stock. So I thought I'd go ahead and throw this together for you guys. Um, for those of you that are just worried about the state of things and you want to know different options, you can go to their website and see if this meets your criteria, if it's in your wheelhouse with your specifications features and price range and if that's something you're interested in at least now you're aware of it um i think that about covers it for the the preview review it's pretty impressive and very very soon i'll be diving into all those big tests and the techs pros cons all that good stuff but at least now you have you know it exists so my name is jim with full moon adventure club if you like this video please like share subscribe that really helps me out and until the next video thank you so much for watching and happy camping